Five Nights at Freddy's is a very iconic horror game franchise. It's been going on for way longer than it should, and one of the main reasons why it's lasted so long is its fan games. Five Nights at Freddy's fan games is such a huge subgenre of Five Nights at Freddy's that it's about equally as iconic as the actual games. Five Nights at Candies, Five Nights at Treasure Island, The Joy of Creation, Pop Goes, Five Nights at Flumpties, which we probably shouldn't be talking about, are about as iconic as the actual games, and I think that's really cool. But today I decided it'd be kind of fun to figure out what was the first Five Nights at Freddy's fan game, because believe it or not, a lot of people don't actually know this information. Now some of you might say it's either Five Nights at Treasure Island or Five Nights at Candies, when those are not even close to the first. Some of you might even say Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Massacre, which was one of the earliest Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, but that is not actually the first. There's like four more games before that. So today, I decided it'd be fun to take a look at what was the first ever Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. And trust me, this is gonna be a really interesting answer. Like, I dug deep into the lore here, okay? I dug deeper than Matt Pat did. And Matt Pat talked to Scott Cawthon, okay? I am fist deep into this. Also, look at this King Ghidorah. I think this is really cool. If you don't know what fan games are, they are games made by fans. Welcome to the Mando Live channel where we point out the obvious. Fan games are usually games based off of a popular IP that aren't made by said developer of the IP, but rather by passionate fans of the series. There's been a whole bunch of Sonic fan games, Mario fan games, unless Nintendo got them, then in that case it doesn't exist. And probably the biggest fan game genre is Finance at Freddy's. It is so big that it has its own section in Game Jolt, like that's how big it is. Now the timeline of when Finance at Freddy's fan games were released isn't really well documented. There's a fandom page dedicated to the timeline of Finance at Freddy's fan games and they got the date of Finance at Freddy's wrong so I think that kind of immediately discredits them but it was a good starting point to figure out what was the first fan game and going through some forums on Reddit a lot of people believe that Finance at Treasure Island was the first game and hello everybody my name is Markiplier and welcome to Five Nights at Treasure Island the first or at least first that I know of fan game of Five Nights at Freddy to be fair that was eight years ago they commented this so they probably figured out that that wasn't the first what the f now, like I said a few minutes ago, contrary to popular belief, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Massacre is not the first ever Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. There is multiple games before that game even came out. If you don't know what Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Massacre is, it's just a basic shooter game, but the bad guys are skinned as Five Nights at Freddy's characters. That is literally it. There is nothing super interesting or unique about it. It is obviously just a shit post. Now, this might be hard for you to believe, but an earlier fan game was Finance at Chuck E. Cheese on Roblox, not the one that everyone knows. Shut your freaking mouth! And this version of Finance at Chuck E. Cheese no longer exists on Roblox to my knowledge. I tried to find it, and the earliest I could find is a 2015 game. But this version of Finance at Chuck E. Cheese came out in 2014. Footage I could really find of this game is a YouTube video from October 30th, 2014. which was a few days before Final Fantasy Freddy's Pizza Massacre released on Game Jolt. Hey guys, I'm a yo to the fuck here, and today we're gonna play... Chuck E. Cheese? Which means that this fan game was earlier than Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Massacre. <laughs> touch. But before Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese for Roblox, not the good one... Holy sh... No! Stop! Please. There was Five Nights at Freddy's 3D demo by Void Productions. Now this game released on September 26, 2014. Basically it's just Five Nights at Freddy's but in 3D. It's not really the best demo in the world. It's kind of shit. But it is one of the first Five Nights at Freddy's fan games so it has to be mentioned here. Someone did mention that it was the first Five Nights at Freddy's fan game on Game Jolt which could be true. I didn't really look into that because that wasn't the point of this video. It was to find the first Five Nights at Freddy's fan game not the first one on a specific platform. We went from Roblox to Game Jolt and now we're going to something a bit more obscure and that is Scratch and me personally I actually played some Scratch games back in middle school because it was one of the only things that were unblocked on our school's laptops and I'm so glad I didn't get caught because holy shit I was playing some of the cringiest games out there. I played a Five Nights at Sonic's fan game on Scratch. I also was listening to Marshmallow music on Scratch as well. There's some info you didn't want to know but now you know. Now all of my research led to this reddit post on the Five Nights at 
Freddy's subreddit, and the poster is now a deleted account, but it reads, contrary to popular belief, the first FNAF fan game was not actually Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Massacre. It was instead a game called Lizzie's Lizard's Hamburgers, which released two months earlier in August 2014. It can still be played below, and he posted a link, and the page is still up. You can still play Lizzie's Lizard's Hamburgers, and it's created by 11 Builder Boy 11. I think I fixed it. Um, I don't have chat on here. So I'm gonna have to look at my phone. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing okay. I got Minecraft installed, which is which is pretty cool. And I'm making a YouTube video right now. I saw Ghost. Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna ignore that. I got three things set up. I got this screen set up where you can see me. You can see King Ghidorah. You can see Freddy Fazbear. You can see my whole room. Scene three, which is like. I, I don't know, I was just messing around. Uh, these are three photos of me from 2019, and I am not that fat in any of these photos. I have I have successfully lost weight. And then scene one is the fan game we're playing. Look at that. But yeah, uh, this is... I Okay. To our knowledge, this is the earliest playable Final Fantasy Freddy's fan game. This came out in August 27, 2014, which to our knowledge is the earliest known date you can play Final Fantasy Freddy's... The first, like, it, I'm stupid. It, it is the first, it is the, er it is the earliest Finance at Freddy's fan game you can play. That's what I'm trying to get at here. It is the earliest Finance at Freddy's fan game. Top five scariest games you've played. I don't really play horror games. Literally, I, I played a Silent Hill game once, scared the shit out of me. I was like 11. I don't have any real scary games experience. The, literally the only real horror games I play is like Finance at Freddy's, Bendy. I played Bendy. Bendy was cool. L. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's an L. Why am I not getting it to work? Am I stupid? Oh shit, I might actually be stupid. We're playing Lizzie Lizard's Hamburgers. I got it working. You are not skippity. <laughs> Fuck you, Lucas. ASMR? No, it's not ASMR. L Riz. Okay, buddy. We got it to work. And why is it? Arrow keys? Okay. Okay, figured it out. Space to close the door. And L to activate the light. Is it really just one door? Can I call in? You cannot call in. Why? Whoa! Did you just say mewing time, fellas? Yo, it's Lizzie. I don't. I. It doesn't fucking work. Are you serious? Okay. Hello. Am I on the air? Uh, I maybe. I you gotta check the live stream, man. I don't know if you can hear me, or I or you can hear yourself. I meant to say. Okay, yeah, you can hear me. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. No, it's not because the game doesn't even work. <laughs> oh, oh shit! No, hold on, Lucas. Lucas, be quiet. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I literally am about to die. I'm about to die. No, I'm about to die. I'm, I'm literally about to die. I'm about to die, man. <laughs> I'm literally dying, man. I but it's taking forever to die. Rip the goat, you will be missed. Yeah, bro, this game is broken. Are you serious? It's broken. Holy shit. Um, I, I, I'm gonna stop this. I gotta, I gotta go. Um, I'm gonna switch. To, I'm gonna switch into scene three. No, I'm gonna come back here. I'm switching to scene three right now. One piece doesn't seem so long. Oh, trust me. It is. I haven't seen it, but trust me. No, I got some very important information to tell you. That is not the first Final Fantasy Freddy's fan game. If you go down to the comment section of that scratch post, Abnormal Marks said, fun fact, this is the first ever FNAF fan game. How do you feel holding this accomplishment? With Noob Sins responding, the first FNAF fan game was Final Fantasy Freddy's Scratch Edition by 3D Developer, which is deleted now. But this is the oldest FNAF game still on the website. So you heard that right. Lizzie Lizard's Hamburgers is not the first. It is actually Finance at Freddy's Scratch Edition by 3D Developer. If you go to the link posted here, it's gone. It, the game doesn't exist anymore. However, if you go into the Wayback Machine back to October 2014, you can find this game. Obviously, you can't play it anymore. The comments aren't there. Now, what's interesting is that this game was actually posted on the same day as Lizzie's Lizard's Hamburgers on August 27, 2014. Now, I don't know which one came first because you can't really check that on Scratch. However, we 
we go by Noobsin's word for it, that means that the first ever Five Nights at Freddy's fan game is Five Nights at Freddy's Scratch Edition, and it is technically lost media. That's right, the game does not exist anymore. It is gone. It is wiped off the internet. As far as we know, maybe someone has it secretly archived in the corner of their computer, but for as very not well known this game is, I highly doubt that. So that means that the first ever Five Nights at Freddy's fan game is technically a piece of lost media, which I think is really interesting. Anyway, I just thought that was a little wacky rabbit hole that I just wanted to talk about. I think it's really interesting for Five Nights at that Five Nights for. I think it's really interesting for as big of a subgenre Five Nights at Freddy's fan games are, the early works of this genre isn't actually archived, because no one talks about Lizzie Lizard's Burgers or Five Nights at Freddy's Scratch Edition. I mean, the only evidence that Five Nights at Freddy's Scratch Edition even exists is one comment on the post for Lizzie Lizard's Hamburgers. Like, it is such obscure information, and I thought I should talk about it. I mean, what time is it? Oh, look at that. I don't have a clock. What time is it? Oh my god, I don't have a clock. That's all I gotta say. Um... Bye. I already did. I already did. You're just because you're fucking delayed doesn't mean I'm fucking delayed. Shut up. If I'm on a delay, that means you're on a delay. I'm not on a delay. I am literally in real time. There he is as a woman. Do you not see him as a woman?